Hello guys and welcome to this uh, tutorial actually. Um, someone asked me um, how I did a certain effect in my last video called Paralyzed Siege of Edit number 3. If you want to check it out it's linked down in the description and you will see the effect right now. So we're going to make that effect uh, in this video. So what you want to do is you want to drag your clip in uh, with your explosion. Just drag it in. And when you've done that, you're going to look for the explosion itself. And when the explosion starts uh, at that keyframe, you want to put a marker. Uh, so push M of your keyboard. You don't have to do this necessarily, but I just do that because it's um some kind of in a way that you know where the explosion is and you don't have to look it all over again and it's just m way easier in my opinion so press enter for that you don't really need a name for it if you're only working with one explosion insert the video track and then you are going to go to media generators and choose the elliptical elliptical ring now what this does is it brings up this uh ring obviously um, so this is kind of ugly you don't want to have this but we're just going to use this uh, anyways so we're going to click on animate and uh, now you see this uh, diamond thingy you just do it from the beginning you just want it to uh, really have no effect there so you just do this this is just what you want to do you want to uh, grab all three points and just shove them up in the middle of the screen so when you've done that you press plus sign you don't really have to do that I think right now but we will we want this to be like um, well what would it be half a second I guess uh, right here we want it to end somewhere like here I guess so just so it makes so it looks realistic so what you want to do is you drag it out all over here you want it to be very clear like this now you still have the yellow thing so you you don't obviously want that you want this effect where it kind of ends so we're gonna put a marker right here again <coughs> because here is where our effect will end and we're just gonna make this real quick you change the um, the source or whatever this button just change it to custom and click on Sony hate map just okay now you want to uh, use this in a minute uh, first you want to go to some place right here and it looks okay but it's not great you see it's very raw and it just doesn't look very nice so you want to use this uh, these two these sliders to adjust everything uh, I think that the amplitude is mm, oh you have to turn this down a little bit and this a little bit like this maybe maybe this a little bit I don't see a difference in those two but alright so now you have this smoothness I don't want it like that just uh, have it on 12 14 what was the standard so this kind of gives you the effect you want really um, I don't know why we don't see it very good but let's see here um, I'll have to run this out and see how it looks so I'll be back in a second so I'm back um, I think it looked great and I already added a little bit of the tutorial itself so that's why you have these two lanes right here uh, don't worry about these two tracks um, but I've just adjusted a little bit of this uh, according to the um, Sony Hate map uh, the amplitude and the elevation and stuff like that 
<coughs> I also made the effect a little bit longer, half a second to be precisely, to be exact, 15 frames. And if you want it to be more realistic, you can have it fade out so it is not that ugly, uh, if you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, well, whatever. So, uh, yeah, that stuff. Uh, also, if you wanted to have it more realistic, I think you would have to uh, make the first few frames a little bit slower coming up to your face than the last frames. So it looks more like it is coming at you, the shockwave, but I don't think it's very necessary for such a short amount of time. <coughs> you can do it, obviously, if you want to be uh, exact and just precise and stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned from it. If it helped you out, please be sure to leave a like. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like as well. It's very much appreciated and helps me out. Uh, also, if you didn't, uh, if it didn't help you for whatever reason, don't mind commenting with a question. I'm glad to answer them as good as possible, uh, helping you out that way. Um, but other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want some more content of me. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.